Hi folks, Dave Cross here, and this time around I'm going to show you one of the many advantages to using layer groups. Whenever you have a bunch of layers and you want to control them easily, one of the ways you can do that is putting them into a group. This has some real advantages, not the least of which is instead of turning on and off six layers, as an example, now you can just turn off and on the layer group and all the layers turn on and off automatically. Secondly, if you want to move everything, instead of trying to remember to click on every single layer, if you move the group, all the contents of the group move as well. There's another really nice advantage of working with groups, and that's when you're doing things like layer styles. So here's an example. I have five type layers. And I want to keep them all as separate type layers so I can change to edit their position and the font and everything else. So I want to take all these layers and put them into a group. And the simplest way to do that, the top layer is already selected, hold down the shift key and click on the bottom layer and that selects all the layers. Now normally I'd use the fly up menu but it won't show up in my recording area. So instead I can show you here under the layer menu I choose new group from layers. So that means take the selected layers and put them into a group. And if I want to name it something, I can. So now, first of all, my layers panel looks a little tidier. Instead of seeing all those layers, now, as I mentioned, I can show and hide simply with one click. If I take the Move tool, it's going to move them all automatically. But here's the other really nice advantage. I'm going to step backwards to the point before I had put them in a group to show you one of the big advantages. Let's say I wanted to add a layer style like a drop shadow to this layer. So I'll put it right here so you can see it, make it nice and obvious. Now if I wanted that same layer style to be applied to all of these other type layers, I could Option or Alt drag to make a copy and that certainly works. But as you'll see in a moment, here's the problem with that. Now they're all separate layer styles that have no relationship to each other. So in other words, if I decided, oh, that drop shadow, I shouldn't have made it quite so obvious, I'd have to go back and edit each one. Because even though it started as a copy of the original, now they're completely separate. So you can see why I don't think that would be the most effective way to do it. So once again, let's step backwards and put these back in a group. So now I'm going to still add my drop shadow. But effectively, what I'm doing is I'm adding the drop shadow to the entire group. So whatever layer is in the group will have this effect added. So when I click OK, you'll see the group itself has the drop shadow. If I look inside the group, none of the type layers do. But here's the big advantage of it. Now if I need to change any setting for that layer style, I can just change it in one place and all the layers inside that group will be affected. And also another nice advantage is now if I add any more layers inside that group, that layer will automatically have a layer style as well. So as an example, let's just go in and say I want to change this ever so slightly. So we're going to change this, just make it a slightly different drop shadow. Click OK. Now I decide I want to add, I don't know, maybe a line in there. So I'll just go inside this, make sure I'm inside this group and add a new layer. I'm just going to use my rectangular marquee tool and I'll just make a skinny little selection. Now watch what happens. As soon as I fill this, I'm going to fill it with white. My background color is white. It's so going to press Command Delete or Control Backspace. Of course, I can also do it from the fill menu. But here, as you'll see, as soon as I fill it, see what happened? The shadow was automatically applied. So that means, and it's really this is the key to this working, is that that layer style is really like a group layer style, meaning anything inside that group will automatically have that style applied to it. It can be a huge advantage. So there's just a few examples of the advantage of using group. By the way, a group is never a permanent effect. I can always take things out of the group or edit them. And that's the other reason why I use a group instead of something like merging is I can still edit my type layers. I can edit the layer style very easily because of that group based layer style and I can move around, show and hide. So lots of really cool advantages to using group layer styles. I'm Dave Cross. See you next time for another quick Photoshop tutorial.